Yeah. Hello everyone. Our journey across the lunar surface takes us to the giant craters on the moon. Seeing the moon in the sky on a clear evening is always a special sight. Anyone who takes the time to look up at our cosmic companion will immediately notice light and dark areas. Investing in an amateur telescope will give you a deeper look at the lunar surface. There are a huge number of surface formations on the lunar surface. One of them always fascinates me the most. The crater Copernicus. The images and recordings we see now were taken with my 90mm refractor. I also used Barlow lenses to get the magnification. The lunar crater Copernicus is one of the most striking formations on the Moon. With a diameter of 93 kilometers, 57.7 miles, Copernicus is no small crater. In addition, I would like to mention that the Canon EOS M100 was used for the recordings and images. The following image is a stuck image of the video we are watching right now. With the method of stacking images, Details can be made visible. Details that photographers of the analog photography era could only have dreamed of. In this picture you can clearly see the central mountains of Copernicus. In 1966, the unmanned lunar probe, Lunar Orbiter 2, orbited the Moon and took this image of the lunar crater Copernicus. The Life magazine called the photo, Picture of the Century. The central mountains and the rugged terrain of the crater walls are impressive. Our next stop, on our journey across the lunar surface, is the crater, Tycho. This image was also taken with the 90mm refractor and the Canon EOS. Tycho really stands out. The ray system of the crater is particularly striking. Gigantic craters and tiny craters are found in the same space across most of the lunar surface. There is almost no place that has not yet been decorated by some crater, no matter how small. Many of these craters existed long before dinosaurs roamed the earth, long before fish swam the oceans, long before multicellular life even existed. Tycho is an exception. With an age of only 100 million years, Tycho is one of the youngest formations on the moon. On the 9th of January, 1968, the unmanned robotic probe, Surveyor 7, landed about 40 kilometers north of Tycho Crater and took images of the lunar surface. Decades later, the orbital probe, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which was launched in 2009, and is still in use today, also took impressive pictures of the Tycho Crater, with its huge central mountain. Tycho has a very bright interior and is also the center of the brightest and most extensive ray system on the Moon. Rays are spread across much of the Moon's front side, making Tycho the best-known ray crater. On one of the rays of Tycho was the landing site of Apollo 17. The age of the crater was determined on the basis of the samples of the powdery and mainly glass bead-like material brought to Earth. The moon is a fascinating place. Its surface tells us a story that is billions of years old and will continue for billions of years to come. <laughs>